with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. We do have clear skies overhead right now, so really nice start. That's a look out of our Lawrence camera. The only issue that we're watching for this morning is the potential to see a little bit of some patchy freezing fog as our temperatures are well below freezing this morning. So there's another look out of our central Topeka camera sitting at 23 degrees, but we do have a calm wind in the capital city right now, so it feels like 23, but we do have a light breeze elsewhere running about 5 to 10 miles per hour, so that is giving us a bit of a wind chill to start with. Overall temperatures ranging from the upper teens in to the low to mid 20s, sitting at 23 in Topeka, 23 in Burlington, 20 degrees in Lawrence, 18 in Manhattan, 21 in Junction City and Clay Center. And we are so cold because of those clear skies. When you get those clear skies, fairly light winds, our temperatures are able to really drop through the overnight hours. So there's a look at those wind chills this morning, feeling like 17 in Concordia. Same goes for Marysville, 14 in Junction City, and it feels like 16 at Forbes Field, 18 in Emporia and Hiawatha. So certainly want to dress warmly, at least to start with this morning. Morning, but man, we've got a lot of sunshine in store today and really for the rest of the week, and that's really going to help us warm up through the afternoon. So there's our future winds starting this at 7 a.m. Pretty light throughout the day today, only running about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but notice the direction still mainly out of the north thanks to that cold front. So we will be slightly cooler today than where we're going to be the rest of the week, but our winds do shift to the south and west as early as tomorrow morning. Becoming pretty calm though, so that's when we might be able to see a little bit more patchy fog, but then they'll become pretty breezy through the afternoon as well. Running about 15, maybe as high as 20 miles per hour. We could get some gusts around 20 to 25 miles per hour through the afternoon, but that's only going to serve to warm us up paired with that sunshine, so we'll take it. So today, low to mid 50s for our highs. Tonight, once again, dropping back into the mid to upper 20s, and then going throughout tomorrow afternoon, we should be near 60 degrees, and we're just going to keep on climbing from there through the middle of the week. Current satellite and radar showing our clear skies, and if we zoom out, we have a lot of clear skies downstream as well. Notice all of this clear air right overhead, just off to our north and west. We have one system that's going to be moving just off to our south that's not going to be affecting us at all and behind that a large area of high pressure that's going to be building and you can see that ridge in the jet stream here and that's going to be moving to the east for us bringing us some quiet weather over the next few days so with with those clear skies possible tonight we could be looking at a little bit of some patchy fog development into the early morning hours on Tuesday that's at 6 30 a.m. really nothing too crazy just be aware of that you may have to scrape off your windshields if we get some of that going on with a little deposit of ice in some places so future track today Clear skies, abundant sunshine all day long, and we'll stay mostly clear tonight and even into tomorrow as well. So a really quiet forecast over the next several days with that high pressure moving in. Temperatures climbing up steadily into those mid-60s by Wednesday. Maybe some increasing clouds by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, and that's really looking to be the only system that's going to be affecting us over the next several days. So just a pretty slight chance maybe Thursday night into Friday as a cold front pushes through that we could get a few showers out of that. But otherwise, it looks like we've got a pretty dry forecast in store. But man, 60s all across the board pretty well. Well, it's going to look pretty. It's going to feel good, but we don't want it too dry. No, we don't. You know, one good thing, though, I've noticed this last weekend, some buds on the trees. That's I saw true. those popping out yesterday, and I just got so excited. Yeah, and I walked <laughs> through the neighborhood, too, looking at people's lawns. I'm seeing a little bit of green grass yeah, emerging it's coming. there, too. It's coming. So we're getting close. Now, this is.